Good day. Welcome to King William Rules Everything. Today we're going to take a look at a Chinese arcade power supply. Straight from China. In its beautiful boxing, of course. And what I want to do today is I want to open this up. Connect it up. And we're going to test the voltage on it. Kind of see what kind of a voltage we get out of this sucker. Um, I've used these before. Uh, I kind of believe the one I had before was maybe 15 amp. Something like that. This, I believe, is a 10 amp, so it is a little smaller than the other ones I've been getting. I uh, had good luck so far, but this one, this is a new one. This is a 10 amp, so I want to try this guy and see kind of, you know, if it's good, bad. I assume it'll be okay, but we're going to test it. So let's open it up. Come on, baby. And that's it. Look at that. It even smells, you can smell the sweat of the Chinese uh, child that assembled this. Fairly lightweight. Um, I'm going to rip it apart. Uh, I can see the little itty bitty transformer in there covered with a little tape. So I assume this will do the trick. Uh, it's got a nice little housing, a lot of venting. Uh, the little feet aren't too bent. Oh, here we go. Model HX10A DC, 5 volts, 12 volts, negative 5. Uh, most of the arcade stuff, uh, you don't use a negative 5. Some, some arcade boards you do, but we're just going to use a 12 and 5 volt. I want to test the 5 volt because what they give you is a plus 5 volt adjustment screw. So I'm kind of curious uh, out of the factory how it comes with the, you know, with no load on it. Is it 5 volts or where we're at? But you kind of see um, ground, uh, plus 12 volts, 2 amp, negative 5 volts, 1 amp, Mr. Ground, AC 1 and 2. And what this is, you can plug in, you know, negative, positive, hot, you know, either way. As long as you get Mr. G Mr. Ground on Mr. Ground, the other ones go either either way. So let's kind of put a cable on. And what I've been doing is, where's Mr. Cable at? Here's Mr. Cable. I've been taking Mr. Power Cords, cutting off the uh, end and crimping on little connectors. I just get a, you know, nothing fancy, just squish these little guys on just to do some testing. I normally do a little nice job, but that's okay. And Mr. Screwdriver. Bam. That's really all you need. And I like to go from this side. And normally what I'll do, I'll go from this side because I like to be able to see these guys. So you can go this side either way. But uh, And then I'll kind of put like a little zip tie just to, you know, for like a strain relief. But we're not going to do that today. So Mr. Ground goes to Mr. Ground. Get in there, baby. Let's see. Probably helps if I loosen this bad boy up. Looks like it's loose already. Mr. Ground is the green. And some of these cables, when you come apart, they, they do blue brown um, and like a green with a yellow stripe. Uh, it's kind of a European color, but you'll see a lot of these these cables that you get for your computers and stuff like that. I guess it just depends where. Um, and maybe they're manufactured overseas. They, you really don't care because you're not going to... You don't care what's inside it. The color wires, <clears throat> you're just going to plug it in and um, go. But sometimes when you cut the ends off, you know, it might be confusing because you think, oh, black, white, green. I understand that. But when you start seeing different colors like brown, blue, you normally can figure out the ground because it's kind of green, but it's got a yellow stripe on it. So that looks pretty good. Now let's get some power. Let's see. Oh, it's got a little LED, so we should see it light up. I'm get Mr. Plug over here. Uh oh, I got a knot. How did we get a knot? Not anymore. And let's see. I'll plug this fellow in. All right. And there she goes. So we got power. I like uh, the best part about this stuff is yeah, we'll just go like that. That way you can see it. We get to use cool tools like multimeter Fluke 87. This is an older version of the Flukes. If you ever know the new ones, they do uh, uh, blue with the yellow uh, yellow case on it. So this is kind of an older one. But it's a goodie. Actually, the one of the things I had done on this is I should have done a, re a fix the display on this because it had um, the normal flukes. <clears throat> You'll see a lot of these. The display gets dim or it gets kind of 
you can kind of see some of it, but not the rest of it. But whether there is under here, this just kind of sits on some pads and you can clean the pads off. But um, anyway, squigglies AC. Liney Wadatis are the um, DC. So what we want to do is we're going to do 5 volty and Mr. Groundy. Let's see if I can maybe touch it. I don't know if I can get it on there or not. Put him on Mr. Ground. Okay, 5.33 volts. So you see we're a little bit high, and that's kind of what that little adjustment screw does. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna see if I can get this, these little gator clips on there. There we go. Probably should use some different clips, just for fun. But that'll do the trick. And you can take a little screwdriver, let's use this Phillips. And kind of see we're at, uh, six volts 6.4 volts so we're way off I don't know if you can see that or not but let's see if we can tweak it down normally what i'll get i'll set this um <clears throat> beforehand looks like that's as low as she's gonna go yeah i'll set it beforehand the best I can, and then I'll go after under a load, I'll get it to where I want it. And you usually shoot for five volts pretty close, maybe just a hair over. Kind of just how I'm feeling for the day, you know. 5.1 volts, something like that, so under load it'll kind of balance out. You kind of see 5.6 volts, no load. Hmm. You really tweak that five volts up there if you want it. So you kind of see what you get with the Chinese. Um, Arcade power supply. Low as she goes is 5.66 volts. I would have expected, you know, be able to get 5 volts, not be able to crank it up to, uh, you know, let's see how high we get the sucker to go. Oh my, 7.5 volts, exactly. And then the low, 5.66 volts. And I'll probably drop down under a load, but um, so you kind of take that for what it is. Uh, the lowest we got is 5.6 volts. <clears throat> and that's as low as she goes. And normally I like to get it, you know, 5.1 volts. You know, a little, a little bit over 5 just in case. But uh, uh, the other one I had, I was able to do this one, apparently not. But this was like, you know, an $8 power supply. So I kind of guess you get what you get. That'd be interesting once we, we plug a JAMA board into this guy. And we see what kind of voltage we're going to get under a load. I hate to put it, you know, too high and then, you know, mess up your board, but... Um, so we're getting a little higher than 5.5 volts off of this. So anyway, I thought I'd just kind of show you this, and even I'm surprised uh, what you're getting from this guy. And this, like I said, this is the first time I've used this one. I've had um, other ones, and I think they're like 15, 15 amps. They're a little taller than this, but I was hoping to save some money. And well, we'll see how it goes. Uh, maybe I'll do an update later on. I'll put a board on this and, and put it under a load. So that's all I have for today. Have a wonderful day.